friends and welcome back. I have this huge box of cement in my workshop for a month now and they're taking a lot of valuable space. Therefore, I'm creating something with cement today. I also like to organize things and I love having little containers for that. So I got the smalls that I had ordered from Amazon to pull my own little containers. As for the lids, I'm using this walnut pieces that were left over from previous projects. And I will use my CNC machine to cut the shapes. Doesn't this all sound amazing? Well, I can wait to start. So, lessons are fun. This is one of the two Portland white cement bags I have. Each of them is 42 kilogram. And this is a 30 grit sand I have to mix into the cement. There are many different ways to mix the cement. What has been working best for me, it's three parts of sand, two parts of cement, and one part of water. Make sure you wear some gloves and use a big enough bowl or bucket to mix the ingredients in. Gently place the ingredients into the bowl. You do not want the cement powder to get all dusty on you. Premix the dry ingredients and then add the water to it slowly. This is the consistency you want the mixture to be. The color of the cement was already white. While white is a great color, I would like to try it with different colors. I'm out of cement powder, therefore I will try to mix acrylic into it. I've never actually tried mixing acrylic with cement. I also have some mica powder here that I will try out with it. So let's give it a try and see how it works out. These are the different acrylic colors I have to choose from. And this is the mica powder I will be using. I put the cement into smaller cups so I can mix the different colors into it. As for the mixing, you can combine the ingredients fully or you can just mix for a short time and therefore not spread the color throughout the whole cement, which leaves you with a mixture between the white and the color. It almost looks like tie-dye. If you have a hard or older mold, I would recommend using some silicone spray, which will help you remove the cement later without damaging the mold. After you fill the cement into the mold, use a stir stick and slide it up and down in the form to help remove any bubbles, and it will fill in all the corners with the cement. Like this, you can also mix a second color into the mold to get a really cool looking pattern. Once all the molds are filled, use your hands and vibrate the form. This will bring any trapped air to the surface. While the cement is drying, let's start designing the lids. For the design, I use Carpet Create. I made two round lids and one squared lid for the different shape molds I have. I made sure to create a 5mm lip on the bottom, so that the lid will fit on the box secured. Everything is ready, set to go, so let the cutting begin. Alright, let's see what we got. This looks pretty clean. So far, I'm happy with the results. The CNC machine finished cutting the pieces. The tabs are still holding the pieces in place. There are many different ways to cut the tabs. Some people use a saw, other people break the pieces off by hand. To me, the best way to break those pieces out is to use a Dremel. Let's tie our hair back and take the pieces out. Those are all the pieces I cut out. Now all that's left to do is to sand off the little tabs. I used the 120 grit sandpaper. Just make sure you don't sand off any more than just the tabs. After you've finished sanding off all the tabs, sand all the way up to 400 grit. Any holes and cracks I had in the wood, I filled by using Starbond glue. There's really no better product to fill those little voids. Just apply the glue, spray the accelerator on top, let it dry and then sand it off. All the pieces are sanded down to 400 
grit. And as you can tell, I made a few extra. For the finish, I'm using Wood Berry Designs Liquid Hydration. By using some gloves, I'm rubbing in the oil into the wood. Once I'm done, I'm letting the piece rest overnight so it can soak in all the oil at once. Tomorrow, I'll take a clean cloth, remove any excess oil, and after, I will use Smooth My Goose Wood Butter. The product is made out of organic, natural, and food safe ingredients, and it will give the wood extra protection, satin shine, and it will feel super smooth. So, let's begin with the oil. Apply a generous amount and spread the oil. You can see how the oil makes the natural grain pop. Place the wood to the side so it can dry. Continue the process with all other woodlets. Let the wood soak in all the oil at once overnight. It's the next day now and the wood has soaked in all the oil. Now it's time to apply Moose Magoose Wood Butter. Just take a clean cloth, dip it in the Moose Magoose Wood Butter and apply it in a circular motion. Once dried, just buff it. It's that simple. Let's over to the side to dry. Now it's time to do mold the containers. As you can see, I have a few more containers here than you saw me initially pour. That is because I actually went to the store to get some real cement color and powder to compare the results from the acrylic with the cement. I also had a little bit of extra cement left and I used it on a resin leaf shape that I poured to see how that comes out. So let's start with the demolding process. As you can see, the shapes came out perfectly. If you have an issue with the shapes coming out oval, I have a little trick here for you to avoid this. All you have to do is you take the lid that you had cut to fit on the shape and you use it and stick it on the bottom of the cement mold. This keeps the cement mold in shape. You do that before you pour. So once the cement dries, it's easy for you to fit the lid again exactly into the shape because you know it fits because you already poured it with it and it dried with it in it. You stick the lid into the bottom of the mold. You turn it over, pour the cement and let it dry. Now it's time to demold. It's so exciting to have the little containers come out perfectly. The containers feel super smooth, just like glass. This is perfect. And we are fertig. Please like, comment and subscribe if you like the video. See you on the next one. Tschüss.